Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So today's recipe is going to be another Mexican dish. I'm going to be showing you how to make nachos. They are super easy to make and they are perfect as a main dish or as an appetizer. The preparation time is going to be about 15 minutes and the cooking time is about 20 to 25 minutes. Let's get started. Let's go through the ingredients. We need one pound of ground meat. I'm using turkey, but feel free to use any kind you like. We also need a quarter of a cup of grated onion, one can of black beans, one can of diced tomatoes with jalapeno peppers, four to five tablespoons of taco seasoning, two cups of shredded cheese. I'm using a Mexican blend, but feel free to use your favorite kind of cheese. I'm also using tortillas to make my homemade nachos, but if you prefer, you can buy your favorite brand of nachos at the grocery store. Since I'm going to be making my own nachos, I will also need oil for frying, about two cups of vegetable oil or canola oil. And I'm also making a pico de gallo to top the nachos. The ingredients for that are a quarter of a cup of onion, finely chopped, half a cup of chopped cilantro, the juice of one lime, two teaspoons of each salt and dry oregano, and half a teaspoon of each garlic powder and crushed red pepper. To garnish, we need pickled jalapenos and sour cream. Let's get started. Drain the tomatoes and reserve the juice. I'm going to be using the tomato juice to season the meat and I'm going to use the tomatoes for the pico de gallo. So drain the tomatoes but do not dispose of the tomato juice. Also rinse and drain the black beans. Season them with one teaspoon of each dry oregano and salt. Mix well and set aside for a moment. To make the pico de gallo, combine the tomatoes. Remember, I drain the tomatoes and I reserve the juice. So for the pico de gallo, I'm just going to be using the tomatoes without the juice. So combine the tomatoes with the cilantro and the onion. Season with one teaspoon of each, salt and dry oregano. Also add in the lime juice and half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Stir together, taste the flavor and add any salt or ground black pepper if needed and set aside until you're ready to use it. In a large non-stick skillet, cook the meat on medium-high heat until brown for about 10 minutes. Make sure to break down the meat really well. If you're making your own nachos, cut the tortillas in quarters or make them any size you want. In another skillet, heat up one cup of oil to a temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit and fry the tortillas few pieces at a time. Just fry them until golden brown. Drain them on paper towels and season them with a pinch of salt. Keep on repeating these steps until all the nachos are done. So the meat has been cooking for about 12 minutes and now it's nice and brown and I'm going to add the grated onion and I'll cook this for about one minute. After that I'm going to season the meat with four to five tablespoons of taco seasoning and I will also add the tomato juice and a quarter of a cup of water. Also add in the beans, stir together, continue to cook for about 4 minutes or until the beans are heated through. And that's about it, you're ready to serve. To serve this, I place some tortillas on the plate and right in the middle I serve the meat mixture. Then top it all with cheese and garnish with the pico de gallo, jalapenos and sour cream. If you like melted cheese, you can put this in the oven for about 5 minutes or until the cheese has melted. And that's about it. Enjoy! I really hope you like this recipe. To print this and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!